tough was it to have to kind of wait a couple games to get out on the field? And did you have any nerves before you came out and made your debut on Saturday? Uh, it was uh, it was pretty tough. You know, I couldn't play the first two games, but um, I was really excited about getting back on the field. Everything I worked so hard, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, I was really excited. Do you think you were in that first game, and, and do you feel like that's your role in the season? Um, I feel like I did pretty good. Um, still got to you know work out some nerves, but it was pretty good for the most part. Um, my role for the defense, um, doing my part, I feel like I did pretty good doing that. What are some things that stand out about Florida? Obviously, everyone talks about their you know, their quarterbacks they bring to the table. What's going to be important? for you specifically in this morning? Uh, me really contain the edge, um, keep the quarterback in the pocket. Um, them probably the main two things. Uh, he a good runner, both of them. So we got to you know contain him. That's probably the biggest issue. Austin? Coach Apple talked about going on the road yesterday. Um, kind of what are your emotions going on the road for the first time in, in SEC play? And you know, kind of what, is, what, have you, what are you expecting at this point? I'm uh, really excited. Um, first SEC game going on the road. That's why I came to Tennessee to compete. So I feel like it's going to be pretty good, pretty good uh, atmosphere. So uh, I'm ready for it, honestly. Jimmy. A couple things. Coach Garner said he thought you were a little bit rusty. Did you feel rusty against Tennessee Tech? Um, a little bit. Um, I had to sit out for about two weeks. Um, so I had to, they had to get me back going. Um, you know, walk, now they didn't really just wanted me to throw me in the fire, so they kind of walked me into it. But uh, I'm adjusting pretty well to it. I feel like I'm pretty ready right now. And what do you feel like makes you a good pass rusher? My speed, uh, my quickness on the edge. Um, I added about 25 pounds. I needed to add weight uh, just for you know going against big O line and stuff like that. Got to set the edge, so I needed that. Are you and, uh, and Tyler Barron pretty close? You guys, uh, you know, have both really developed. What was it like to be on the field with him and kind of you two on the field together at the same time? And, and with that anticipation that uh, It was great because me and him, we normally never be on the field at the same time. So having him right there and we communicate, it was really good. Um, we play the same positions, but sometimes he go to DN. So like while he on the field, he know both positions. We talk to each other, communicate. So it was really good. Patrick, what do you think about the Uh, I feel like I need to, you know, pick up my pace, my speed and stuff like that, start by using my hands better. Um, I got the butterflies out most of it, so, like, I'll be, I feel like I'm pretty ready. Did you have, like, a moment where you kind of were, like, okay, I'm back? Because it's the first day for two years. Did you have a moment or a hit or something that kind of got you back? Oh, yeah, it was, um, I think, like, the second drive I went in, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was ready then. I was good. I was good. A couple of things. Uh, how do you feel like you do against the run? Is that is that a challenge for you? Um, the run. I think I do pretty decent with the run. Uh, I probably I need to work on that a little bit. But um, with the run, I'm pretty good with it though. With the run. And I thought a couple of times on pass rushes, you were you had some games that you were running up front where you were twisting and stuff. Is that something that's typically a part of what what you guys see in the pass rush? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you feel like you're effective with that? Oh yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. First time going through all the Tennessee pregame football traditions. Were there any wow moments for you with any of those things for the first time? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. It was. Well, my family finally got to come to my game. So, like, you know, I'm doing pregame. It was, you know, nice to see them in the stands and stuff like that. But um, everything else, it was, it was pretty good. Wes? Sorry, I think just, just about everyone knows your, your story by now. Was there a time when you got to Tennessee when you were thinking like, man, like I finally made it, like I'm done, like I'm here now, it's been a weird ride, but I'm in a good place now? Uh, I still do that sometimes. Like I, you know, I'm just walking on campus, I'm like, I'm really at the University of Tennessee. You know, it's kind of wild that, you know, everything I've been through, you know, to get here, 
I'm finally here, so it's like I'm trying to make the best of it. Awesome. To piggyback that, all that you've been through, did it make it easier to just, you know, kind of withstand those two weeks that you had to set out because you you worked so hard to get to this point? It made it really harder. Hard? It, yeah, it made it hard because I felt like, you know, I've been through a lot and it's just, you know, it's just like another thing. It always something else, you know. So, like, when that happened, you know, it kind of it hit me pretty hard because I work hard in camp, you know, just to get here, get just to get to that moment. So, like, uh, we were preparing all week for that game and find out I couldn't play. It kind of hit me pretty hard. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you had not seen the, the poster for Georgia military and gone down that path where, where your life might be now? I don't, I don't really like to think about that. I just always think that everything happens for a reason. So like, you know, like that incident that just happened, I couldn't play two games. Like my mom told me like, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know. So there's probably a reason I couldn't play them two games. It probably was for the best. You know, anything could have happened. So I think that same thing where I found that flyer, you know, that's that it was just meant to be. Ben? You kind of just talked about it, but you said uh, it hit you pretty hard when you found out you couldn't play. But who, who did you lean on in those moments to, to keep your spirits up? And, who are some players in the NFL that you like to, to watch and, and model your game after? Um, well, I leaned on my family. I was, you know, talking with my family the whole time. My mom and dad, they kind of cut me up, uplifted and stuff like that. But um, some players I look at is Khalil Mack. It's probably like the no, number one player of Von Miller. I like to watch them too. I feel like I play familiar, kind of like both of them. What way? Uh, with, with the speed. And uh, Khalil Mack got the power. He like the long arm. I feel like I do that pretty well. Back to West. Brian, I know that there's a lot of reasons. People have a lot of motivation to go out there and play well, and everybody's got their own story. But do you feel like with the stuff you've been through, if, if you can go out there and have a big career, that it could mean something to a lot of people who kind of think about, you know, wanting a second chance or an opportunity to go out there and play, do something? Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm a, like kind of like a role model, like from where I'm from. You know, a lot of people really don't make it. I'm like the first one to really – in the community really to go to college and you know do what I do so like I feel like yeah it's a big help.